Hey, it's Marge. You may have heard a lot about playing with musical expression, but when you're playing through a song, it doesn't quite capture the feeling of the recording. A lot of musical expression has to do with dynamics, but when you're just getting started, fine-tuning your picking style to vary your volume can be challenging. Here's some advice for how to add more nuance to your playing. Musical sound has four main characteristics. Pitch, timing, volume, and timbre. Pitch and timing are pretty obvious. What notes do you play, when, and how long do they last? This is a lot of the information that you see in the noteway, although there are some other features to the notation as well. Dynamics and timbre are a little harder to pin down, but they're equally important. In this example from Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, the guitar part swells and gets softer along with the other instruments that are playing. The guitar tone is clean, making it all the more possible and important to play with wider, more dynamic nuance. This nuance comes in large part from your picking hand. And while it's fairly easy to play louder, playing softly is the key to improving your musical expressiveness. Try this. Pluck the low E string as loudly as you can without it sounding harsh. Now, gradually reduce the force of the pluck until you can barely hear it. Now you know the potential range of your playing, and it's just a matter of putting it into practice. This exercise works for fingerstyle picking as well. Once you see how loudly and softly you can play, try it out on a few chords to test out your new skill. When you play songs like Moonlight Sonata and Rocksmith Plus, pay attention to the dynamics and how they add emotion and interest to the part. Happy practicing, and I'll see you next time.